Legend speaks of Loki, the Norse god of mischief, and how he and his trickery would bring ruin to all. Loki of Jotunheim was not of Asgard or Odin's Acer kin, yet he lived among them. Loki was a devious tactician, a giant with a penchant for trickery. When we last left Odin, the future seer, the Volva had warned him of Asgard's coming doom and that Loki was tied to it. The demise of Baldur, it seems, would spark the end of things. Odin knew Hodor would slay Baldur, but, spectators of myth, the Allfather did not know the full story. Fortunately, the tomes do. Loki the Joker Ruin Incarnate The goddess Freya had all things swear an oath not to harm her son Baldur, and the Acer put this magic to a test. As they did, Loki, in the guise of a woman, asked Freya if there was anything that did not make the pledge. She said a fledgling plant called Mistletoe had not. Freya believed it too young to be of concern. With that little nugget of information, Loki approached the blind one, Hodor. He was not testing Baldur's invincibility due to his lack of sight, but Loki convinced Hodor to try with his help. He guided Hodor's hand to fire a mistletoe arrow at Baldur. They let fly, and after it struck, Baldur was no more. The gods mourned Baldur, and after a time, hunted Loki. The chase took them to the world's end, where the trickster had turned into a salmon and was swimming for his life. His pursuers tried to catch him with a net, but they failed. Loki jumped from the water, and Thor caught Asgard's most wanted by the tail. As punishment, Loki was bound to three stones with the innards of his son. His other child was made a wolf. Above him was a snake dripping venom. His wife Sigyn stayed by his side and tried to catch the poison, but she was not always there. When the venom did land, Loki would rile so much he'd cause earthquakes. Yet, Loki wouldn't be bound forever. 